Hey guys, before we hop into the weigh-in, I just wanted to tell you about Perfect Keto's Labor Day sale going on now until Wednesday, September 9th. It's a bundling sale where the more you buy, the more you save. I like to use this time to stock up on their Perfect Keto bars. Those are my favorite. But they have lots of other awesome products on their website, such as cookies, collagen, coffee, etc. Happy bundling and happy Labor Day weekend. Okay, on to the weigh-in. Hey guys, it's September 1st, time for my monthly weigh-in. I stepped on the scale and this is what it said. Okay guys, 168.8, like what? Like, like that is a loss of 3.1 pounds from last month. I am very pleased. Uh, if you guys can remember, my goal for August was to get in the 160s. Didn't quite reach that, but like I worked hard in the month of August. I also did a lot of fun things. I went carnivore. I ate intuitively for the first few weeks. Like I really tried some different things this month and I really learned a lot about myself. But one thing that made me a little bit nervous was that it wasn't necessarily translating to the scale going down and it got down to the wire these last couple days i was like i'm getting into the 160s whatever it takes and i'm really proud of myself for sticking it out and making it happen like 168.8 is awesome that means i'm just technically 3.8 pounds away from my first goal which is 165. i know that once i get there like I'll still wanna keep losing weight and toning and things like that. So that's really just kind of like the first milestone. It's not a goal by any means. I guess it's more of a milestone. I don't know if that's gonna happen this month uh, with Keto Palooza and just me eating in a normal way. I really don't know. You know, one of the things that I am really working on deciding is figuring out, you know, what's more important to me, getting to a number on a scale or liking the way that my body looks and being okay with the way that I eat every day. Like, because right now I kind of like how my body looks and I like the way that I get to eat. I like the amount of food I get to eat. I love alternate day fasting. But like I said, that doesn't necessarily translate to the weight loss that I want to see. So I'm just like, and you know, is my goal to like change something up so that I can drive the number down? Or is it to like live and eat in a sustainable way? I don't know, like I'm still working on that. So I don't wanna say like my goal for this month is to get to 165. Like it's really not even about the number anymore. It's, it's just about optimizing and feeling good about how I'm eating from day to day. Also, I have to ramp up my weightlifting. So even though I lost weight this month, my little percentages of like muscle mass and everything, they decrease. So some of that weight, some of that 3.1 pounds was muscle and i don't want that to be the case i want to only lose fat and gain muscle and i took my measurements today and even though like i said i lost three pounds some of like my measurements went up like my waist actually went up a quarter of an inch and you know call that bloating call it whatever you will but like it's not only about how much i weigh it's about how my body looks and where i carry that weight and so my upper body is getting really toned my lower body even is okay but all of the weight it seems is like starting to migrate toward my midsection and like that's really what i need to focus on or that's really what i want to focus on in terms of changing my body I'm one of those type of people where I could wear a medium top, but like I'd have to wear an extra large bottom. So my goal is just to like get more proportionate, you know, like to, I'm a tall person and I feel like I have the upper body that looks like a tall, lean person, but that midsection, I'll tell you that, that is something I still wanna work on. So my goal in September, we are doing a walking challenge on the Nike Run app. It's called Step It Up September, so it's 55 miles. So my goal is to finish that, to have a successful Keto Palooza. I'm just so excited to really keep up with my weightlifting. I've lost my motivation for weightlifting recently. I have been doing it, but I haven't been enjoying it the way that I want to. It feels like a struggle and like I want it to feel easy. I, I want to love it and I don't love it right now. So I need to get back to that because like I don't want to be skinny fat. Like I don't want to not weigh a lot, but not have a good body composition. You know, that's what skinny fat means. It's when the number on the scale isn't high, but like your muscle mass to body fat 
is not proportionate. It's still kind of unhealthy. And so I don't want the weight that I lose to be muscle. I don't want to just lose weight for the sake of losing weight. I want it to be fat. I want to lose body fat. So that's really what I'm going to be working on in September is getting my cardio in with the walking and then really going hard on the weights to make sure that I maintain that muscle mass. Also, as you can see, I got a new hairdo and I am absolutely loving it. I am living my best life right now. Like I said, I'm enjoying the way I look. I'm enjoying the way that I look in clothes and how my clothes fit. I, I like what I see when I look in the mirror. Don't get me wrong. There are things that, you know, I want to improve, but for the most part, I'm happy where I am. So I'm really, really happy about that. So now it becomes about reevaluating. It's like, but I wanted to get to like 155 though, but it's like, why? For the sake of being 155, et cetera. I don't know. I'm just evaluating and I encourage you to do the same. Okay, comment down below. How was your August? What was your weigh in for September looking like? Also, what goals do you have this month? Last month it was to do carnivore and I ended up loving carnivore so much that I actually think that that's how I'm gonna eat for the majority of time moving forward. Like I was like, wow, I could eat like this forever. And I do like cutting back the sweeteners and cutting back the total carbs. Like I liked how clean the food felt when I was eating carnivore. So I wanna keep doing that. Did you try anything new in August that you're gonna stick with this month? Did you try anything new in August that you are glad is over so that you can get back to normal? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly full days of eating, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate and box unboxings, the occasional product review and recipe and crazy video with my family. Thanks so much for sticking around with us. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next month. Hi, Milton. Hi, bud. What are you doing, buds?